how is our lane matchup? So they're going to put Pugna against Alk. Is it better to put him there, or is it better to put Phantom Lancer against the Alchemist? He still has the heal coming out, but it's about to fade now. Jams takes a little bit more damage from the Lance. No Tail slowed down. It's just a battle of whose level one abilities are worse. No Tail pops a Fairy Fire. Thunderclap, but he need a little bit more. He's going to get one more swipe. It's not enough. High ground miss. Oh, Ice 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 secures it from the low. Catch somebody here. The Jazz. very slow Bear Boots Sniper. You just go bottom, don't you? Yeah. If you're OG. Yeah, go for it. Right spot, tries to go for the Sentry. D-Ward, Ninja Boogie is going to be blown up, but Jarex might also lose his life as well. Magic Missile stops that Shackles. Now Mushi's got to get out, though. No Enrage. Jab's trying to poke at Ana right now. There goes the Venomancer ultimate there. Poison Nova out. Ice 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 doesn't actually get back inside of his own base, and he's kind of freaking out right now. He needs to be able to get back to that high ground. Maneski do not want to take a further fight with two heroes down. Running at Jabs. Jabs in trouble. Fire Spirit slowing down some of this damage. Clap actually misses. Swap back. Hoping to be able to save Jabs. They turn onto the wrong Phantom Lancer. The real one is inside the base, killing the Sniper. Now they're going to be slowed down a little bit. Oh, Seb actually just throows out the full poison. Nova. they killed Moose. Supernova goes off late, and it oh, may just die as well. Egg. They're all going to vote. See oh, no, Maneski. One by one, they fall like dominoes, and now OG see the opportunity. There's weakness. They can pounce on it. Moon has the unstable concoction going. Needs to be able to find the real Phantom Lancer, and they do manage to hit it. It was followed by the eventual Spirit Illusion, so they can kill him. Anna's dead, but they do manage to get the range racks. It forced Maneski into four buybacks. Yeah. Ice, ice, ice. Diving around, using the boot to travel. He's going to try and jump onto this creep. Ice, 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 hoping to be able to get the instant damage. Doesn't actually get Mushi's it now. Caught. Mushi's going to be hexed up. Mushi still has it in range. He's going to pop it now. Moon comes in. They need to be able to Sef kill Seb. He does have the Guardian Greaves, though, so they decide against going for him. Mushi is still in trouble, though. Decrepify slowed down. Tops tries to get him. He managed to flink himself away. In deep, though, is going to be our Ursa swap back. Moon's going to be able to stay alive a little bit longer, but Anna's on the other side. Decrepify is allowing him to dodge some time, but he's still dead. Hamilk Rage is going to be on cooldown for this next fight. They may still be able to catch Moon. They're trying to blow him up. Unstable Concoction stopping that, but the Anna, as well as Thompson damage, is going to be enough. Now it's just going to be grab back. Who else can they grab? That's a really good Supernova on the high ground, but everyone else is just dying to the damage oh, over time, so and the damage is not going to be good enough. Jabs died to the lands. Ursa is going to be caught. Tries to go for the TP out, but Jarex with the Blink Dagger is going to put a stop to that one. Shackles up. Ice, Ice, Ice. Phoenix as well. Maneski are all five dead, and we'll call it here. OG take their second victory in this group stage. Oof. I mean, every victory counts at this point. Just not getting last in the group does matter for them. As whoever gets last gets eliminated in BGJ Thunder. Whose draft do you like better? Mm. Um, I'm not sure. I think I like OG's draft again better. I definitely like I definitely liked OG's draft better last game. They're still going to try and dive Jarex. Oh, Another swing and a miss there from Ice Ice Ice. He needs his damage too because now Seb is coming back. Has the Fury on big and Chan Totem hit will finish off one Ninja support. Just dead and now, now with a tree insert, they're going to be able to kill Ninja Boogie as well. Ice 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 is still struggling to be able to clean up Jarex. Gets him with the shield crash though. That None of that would have happened if Ice 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 just hit it in the first place, right? Yeah. TP's in, pushes back the supports. Jabs actually comes down right as the Sprout goes in so he doesn't break the trees. Silenced up though. Necrophos kind of help buoying the lane a little bit. They just go straight for all the tree and CS. We'll be able to get a lot of it. Wrapping in from behind is going to be Thompson, though. Goes for the LSA. Misses on Mushi. And a roll immediate hit from Ice Ice Ice. Bounces off the stairwell and will be able to get the Reaper Scythe kill. Zeb does yeah, manage to get Ninja get no Boogie, tail. but now in return, No Tail's going to end up dying. Ice 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 cleans him up. The Man. timing of Ice Ice Ice's rotation. They're going to have to TP multiple heroes in. It just looks like a very staggered response from Maneski. They're going to try and come in. Thunder, Crash coming in, doesn't actually hit anybody. Now hits Thompson, a little bit late on that one. Blinks back into him, but there's no damage to be able to follow it up. Finally, Mushi comes in with his four staff, has the Reaper Scythe ready to go. Lays it in on him. Will be able to finish him off. Pangolier, Winter's Curse, that's a beautiful save from Jabs. Not only saving his life, but being able to kill No Tail. TP out from Seb, Ninja Boogie, Frostbite up in a second, and not quite in time. Won't be able to catch anybody else from OG, but Maneski do hold that tier two and win the fight. They're gonna grab this top tower. Should probably get denied by Jabs. But another avenue opens up. Seb's gonna be able to TP in from behind. Jarex reveals his blink dagger. Fast kill onto the Winter Wyvern. Mushi's gonna try and get the kill, but he's already double silenced. Oh, Triple just be a kill? silence, Mushi. He is not talking anyway today. Here we go, 
Seven Son of Doom. Shadowblade, they're gonna try and turn around. Maybe able to get the Yule Scepter onto the Furion. Can Pango get out uh, of here? No, he's, he's so gonna be done. global silence and nullified. He's dead. No tail is gonna. Oh, the Cold Embrace. Now the Winter's Curse. Will he's Pango all survive? He's throws everything they have. The Echo Slam. The Jaren's going to be by popped. The TP. Seb is actually going to pop his BKB and try and fight here. Mushi, he's Mushi dead. Gone. Thompson's going to be able to kill him. Jabs is up next. Anna snuck in the back and was able to find the supports. Ninja Boogie hides in the trees with his Quelling Blade and Gem that he picked up after Ice Ice Ice's death. He, he, does, he does a good dance around that Roche Pit. Yeah, he certainly does. Which is why... Big Danny No-Tail wants to make sure there's no vision around here. He's going to give up his life for it. Does have the Global Silence. Is he going to pop it? He pops at the last second before he dies. Seth now comes into the back line. Does manage to kill the Crystal Main. Not sure if that's the hero he really wants, but Moon, he's going to die pretty soon here. The Cold Embrace now. The Winter's Curse gets laid out. Thompson's taking a lot of damage. They actually hit Anna, though, slowing down some of that damage. But finally, Mushi's here from his buyback. TPN going to be able to get the Reaper Scythe on his Seb. He's already dead now. Pangolier's going to get caught by Jerex. Jerex jumps get himself in. Jerex. Jumps himself <laughs> out with the Enchant Totem. Jet's going to be slowed down. Managed to get the Cold Embrace but ahead of the stun, though. That'll buy just a little bit more time. He's instantly stunned by Jerex. Jump forward. They see Mushi and they want him dead. They Want that die back real badly? Hit by the LSA, hit by the Fisher. Boom! Chan Totem. Jerix is just dancing all over them while Seb is taking the lane of Rax. It's total chaos, and Minaskir losing in every single angle. They already have the rupture. Oh, they actually managed to get uh, control of Seb. Seb may end up dying here. Reaper Sight, but no follow up damage. Seb is going to be able to walk that up. BKB turning and fighting up against Mushi. He's kind of losing this fight. The Oregon Nullifier comes out. Seb's trying to get away, trying to TP out. Is he going to make it? Winter's Curse. That's going to be able to stop him. Finally, Jarek's finishes off his ally. Now, Jarek jumps on to the Winter Wyvern for vengeance for being able to kill Seb. Jams keeps himself alive with the Cold Embrace for a little bit longer. Meanwhile, Those they actually managed to kill out the Draw Ranger. Jams, he's definitely dying here, but the rest of the team has to back up to be able to guard the throne against these Megas so they can help out their support. Now the jump in. Anna tries to go up the silence. Mushi forced to pop his BKB. Managed to get the Thompson. Shivas, but Seb is turning and fighting him farther up. Thompson managed to get the Ghoul Scepter onto Ice Ice Ice. Just right clicks him down. Ice 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 will die, and he doesn't have buyback. Double Echo Slam from Jarek. going to be able to finish off the two supports. Moon battling it out with Seb. Reaper Scythe is going to be able to come in, but Moon still dies. And that's just the Aegis. Nice Enchant Totem stunning up the two with the silence coming out from Anna. Back into the fountain they go. Maneski trapped with three, and the throne will die. OG. Will 2-0 Maneski bringing their group stage? It is back from the dead. Ooh.